What's going on, y'all? His Elect Media Man, Jesse here, man. Once again, today is January 3rd. We are back with the vlogs, man. Um, uh, today, I actually went and bought me a couple of uh, space heaters for my office here. It's been cold out here in Dallas, man. Uh, it's been like 30 some odd degrees every day. Tomorrow, we are supposed to get a break, though. Tomorrow, I think it's going to be somewhere like in the 50s, I think. Last night, I was working on a uh, on an edit for a music video and wrap that up, send it off to the artist this morning. We have a real estate shoot tomorrow afternoon around two o'clock. I'm gonna make sure I bring you guys along with that. And so anyway, man, I wanted to share you share with you guys something, man. This is my uh, behind the scenes vlog camera that I've been using for quite some time. This is a good little camera, man. I wanna explain some things to you, share some information with you guys because I've had a few people in my inbox and just friends that I know, people that have been asking me, what is a good vi uh, video camera and photo camera that I can get started with? now. You know that I shoot with Sony. I'm shooting right now with the Sony a6300, the Sigma Art 18 to 35 lens with the uh, Sigma MC11 adapter. That's my primary setup. I do have uh, a 50 millimeter Sony f1.8 lens that I use. And I also have a 12 millimeter Rokinon f2 that I use when I go out on real estate shoots. Remember, this is the Sony NEX 5T. This camera cost me all of $150, man. $150. Bucks. Um, it did not come with this kit lens, okay? This is the 16 to uh, 50 kit lens, the Sony kit lens, okay? This came with my A6300, which I'm shooting on now, okay? This 16 to 50 on this camera together work great. If you're just gonna use it for vlogging, it's got a nice wide angle but it also has a little bit of a reach with the uh, 16, with the 50 millimeter. Now it does have an adjustable aperture, so it does need a lot of light for this, this particular lens. So I use this when I go out on the field to vlog because you're usually in sunlight outside, right? The, six, the A6300 with the 18 to 35, I use that for inside. So that's the one that I'll be using mainly when I'm inside and when I'm doing these kind of uh, vlogs and just, uh, you know, headshots, you know, talking head type of video. So anyway, this camera though, 150 bucks, right? I already had the kit lens. Well, check this out. When I bought this camera, it came with two kit lenses, okay? It came with the uh, 18 to 55. That one also has adjustable aperture. And then it came with the 55 to 210. Those two lenses, I mean, they're they're okay. You know, they're decent lenses. They have adjustable aperture. They got the full range. You'll have 18 to 210. You'll have all those ranges in between. If you can get the camera and those two lenses, I mean, it's something to get started, right? Well, check this out. What I did was I sold those lenses individually on Craigslist here locally, right? So I spent $150 for the body and two lenses, right? I turned around and sold each one of the lenses for $80. So do the math, 80 plus 80, <laughs> 80 plus 80, I did $160, but I paid 150. And so basically I made money and I got to keep the body for the camera. And these lenses are interchangeable with my A6300. So now the 18 to 35 that I have on here now, I could use that on this camera. The 50 millimeter that I have for my Sony A6300, I can also use it on this NEX 5T. Even the 12 millimeter, I can use it on this same camera body. This camera takes very good pictures, okay? It shoots in RAW and JPEG, so you'll be able to have those RAW images. You can, you can edit those, get some great color range out of them, dynamic range. This camera also records video in 1080p, 60 frames a second. So with that, you'll be able to have slow motion video, you know, 1080p format. I mean, uh, the Canon cameras, Not, no disrespect to Canons, I own a Canon. I had a T4i, I used it for like two years uh, before I switched to the, the Panasonic GH4. But during that time, I had that camera, the, the, the T4i, it took, great, it took great pictures, but when I shot video, it was 1080p, 24 frames per second, but then when you switched over to the 60 frames a second, you were shooting in 720. So 720 HD compared to 1080 HD, I mean, come on. That's a much better 
uh, video format quality just right off the top and you're talking about $150 is what I spent now I've been looking for another deal like that I haven't found another one okay that was a really like a one one time deal I guess kind of thing but I have found plenty of them on on Craigslist Facebook marketplace and they run for like 200 bucks 200 bucks 250 dollars you can get one and maybe get the kit lens if you can get the kit lens with it man you're in good shape if not try to get like a 35 millimeter sony you can get a um a 16 millimeter would be okay you know pancake lens is cheap and you can get that but you could start building up your lens collection with this and if you ever decided to upgrade from this smaller camera to something like the a6300 you'll be in good shape because now you'll have lenses that are already going to be ready to begin shooting with that same camera so anyway man i wanted to share that information with you guys man and give you some feedback on this camera this is the sony nex 5t i'm gonna post uh i'm gonna i'm saying i'm gonna post a couple pictures hopefully i'll have some right here that you can look at but my vlogs the vlogs that i shot on uh my very first vlog that i shot when i was back here was with this camera um it doesn't have it doesn't have great you know low light performance up to like 800 iso you know is good but once you try to start getting into 1600 with the video you're gonna see some noise this camera works best if you have plenty of light it is a 16 megapixel camera so it takes decent photos like i said if you go to uh at underscore ev photo underscore so two underscores one in the front one in the back ev photo that's my son's Instagram. He's got some example photos up there that you can look at. And uh, like I said, we will be vlogging with this camera. I use this on my uh, Moza Air Cross uh, gimbal and it, and it works great as a vlogging setup, okay? Um, if I had to recommend a camera to anybody that's just getting started and you wanna just start shooting photos and videos straight out the box, it's gonna be real cheap grab you a Sony NEX 5T. They also have a 5N and a 5R, which they all basically work the same. They all have the flip up screen. Uh, I said all of that, man, when we're talking about this camera and everything, man, use what you can, get started, use, find something that you can get started with and just get out there and start, you know, start putting those things to work build your you know your your experience sharpen your tool your you know your knowledge in the area that you're working in and, and just allow god to use your god you know those, those gifts and those talents that he gave you to begin to serve him to serve other people and and do what you you know enjoy doing the most because in the end that's where you're going to have your most happiness man is doing what you feel you you enjoy doing the most and 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 especially if you can turn that into a career decision so keep that in mind man so anyway man that's going to be do it for me today man god bless you guys man and i'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow salute